What is nanotechnology and why is it useful? Nanotechnology is any science or engineering that takes place at the nanoscale. Now a nanometer is one times 10 to the minus nine meters. That's 1,000 millionth of a meter. Now to put that into perspective, that's the amount that a US aircraft carrier would sink by if a single seagull landed on its flight deck. And it's also about the length that your fingernails grow every second. So nanotechnology has this broad definition that's based on scale and, and as such there are lots of different fields of science that fall into it. So anything from semiconductor physics to organic chemistry or microbiology to nanofabrication that would all be considered nanotechnology. So what do we use nanotechnology for currently and what might we use it for in the future? The manipulation of nano-sized particles is nothing new. The transparent sunscreen sprays that you can buy contain nanoparticles of titanium and zinc oxide. And people like Pilkington Glass have developed glass that have nanoparticle surfaces and they have a photocatalyst that, that basically breaks down dirt and organic compounds that come into contact when there's UV light shining on them. So in the sunlight they collect up this organic material into sort of clumps and bits of dirt and then when it rains it's simply washed off the surface of the glass so you have this self-cleaning property. There are also bandages that contain silver nanoparticles which block the respiration of microbes and smother and kill harmful cells. And it's actually in medicine that we're likely to see the most revolutionary uses of nanotechnologies. Researchers at the University of California recently replaced the inner structure of a red blood cell with gold nanoparticles and they introduced this to the body and the, body didn't, the body's immune system didn't pick it up, didn't eject it. So what that means is these nanoparticles might actually be introduced as a very accurate way of dosing medications for patients. But also in this particular application, they were thinking about very targeted cancer treatments. So they would use these cells with metallic elements through them to bind to cancer cells or tumors. And then they would use something like an MRI scan or a magnetic field to resonate those cells and heat the cancer up until it killed it off. So you'd have a very targeted uh, treatment. And outside of medical uses there are some really exciting kind of nanoscale machines that are being built and there's also the atomic manipulation of, of carbon atoms to form things like graphene and carbon nanotubes. Now graphene is a, a single atomic layer of, of carbon with the, the kind of classic hexagonal form um, which looks like atomic chicken wire if you like and carbon nanotubes are really just a rolled up version of these, these um, flat sheets so you'd have a long tube and if the carbon atoms are aligned uh, in a particular way these carbon nanotubes could be hundreds of times stronger than steel but a sixth of the weight so they're already being suggested for uses like you know bridges and structures and and even space elevators that will haul payloads up into into orbit so there's some really exciting technologies around this kind of nano area and it's odd to think that such a tiny technology is likely to play such a huge part in all of our lives in the future if you'd like to subscribe to any other videos you know the drill hit the subscribe button